Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's good to be with you today. The last Sunday in February. We're just team to celebrate Black History Month. Thank you for joining us today. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Father God, just be blessed with you today. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you, Lord, that you are allowed to Prayers and your word and all that we do say we are in glory to your name. Let's the hearers today, Lord. In our hearts to be blessed. We wish together virtually, Lord. Have your way. Be in the midst of your spirit and have your way. Rule and super rule today. We give you all the praise and thanks. In Jesus' great name we pray. Amen. Mm. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And we're going to begin by saying, We bring the sacrifice of praise. Into the house of the Lord, we bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. As we offer to you the sacrifices of thanksgiving, as we offer to Bring sacrifice of praise into the house 
Thank him for all of his goodness today. We thank God for each one of you for watching with us this morning. I've seen uh, mother in law, Miss uh, Benzina. I see Sister Linda Dreary this morning. I see my sister in law, Keisha. Keisha's watching this morning. Sister Jessica Lewis. Sister Naomi Carter. Freeman Irvin is watching. Velma Williams is watching. Sister R. Washington. R. Jean Washington. Uh, Robinson watching this morning. So we're so grateful. All Sister LaFaith Miller is watching, and Angel Williams is watching as well. So we thank God for all of you who are watching with us today. And we pray that you're being blessed and that you uh, are uh, excited about this day. And our Facebook church hopper family. Amen, amen. I did a little church hopping on Facebook, YouTube this morning. So we thank you for joining us this morning is uh, february the 27th wow. this month has flown by so whatever you didn't do this month you yeah. have one more day which is tomorrow to do it mm. whatever you want to get started want to get done go ahead and do that tomorrow mm. it's never too late it's only too late when you say it is mm. so we're grateful we thank you for god's blessings today and we thank god for each one of you and we hope that you're uh, staying encouraged Stand safe as we worship God together today. This time we're going to do our mission and vision statement and affirmation of faith. Mission statement. Shade <laughs> Church of God is committed to be a guiding light that draws many <clears throat> women and children unto God by sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ and living lives which portray God's will according to his holy word. Vision statements. Community reform. Seeking to reclaim the village in an effort to provide each individual with the biblical foundation spiritual rehabilitation, providing a Christian-based program to aid in the deliverance from substance abuse. So winning crusade, so winning crusade, witnessing to the unsaved so that they may receive salvation that is free, accept Christ as the Lord and Savior, and become heirs to eternal life. So refuge, existing as a safe haven for all who need to escape from the ills of the world and experience the peace that surpasses all understanding. An affirmation of faith. We, we believe in Jesus Christ, Christ the Lord, who is promised to the people of Israel, who came in the flesh to dwell among us, who announced the coming of the rule of God, who gathered the disciples and taught them, who died on the cross to free us from sin, who rose from the dead to give us life and hope, who reigns in heaven at the right hand of God, who comes to judge and bring justice to victory. We believe in God his Father, who raised him from the dead, who created and sustains the universe, who acts and delivers his people in times of need, who desires all men everywhere to be saved. We believe, believe in the Holy Spirit, who is a form of God present in the church, who is a guarantee of our deliverance, who leads us to find God's will in the word, who guides us in discernment, who compels us to act together. One word um, that stuck, um, stood out to me was the word effort. Um, for community reform, seeking to reclaim the village in an effort to provide each individual with the biblical foundation. And the word effort means that you have to put, it's a verb, you have to give something. So you have to it show it takes it probably took effort this morning to get out of bed. Hmm. It probably it takes effort sometimes to do something. Hmm. So if you don't give effort to something, hmm. it will not get done it, or it may get done, but it'll be half done. And so we have to give an effort. It takes effort to witness. It takes effort to pray and read your word. It does. It takes an effort. Hmm. So we don't put forth the effort. We, we, not, we don't have to go to the cross. Jesus already made, he made a concerted effort 
to go. He didn't give up. He knew what his plan was. He knew what the purpose was. So we can make an effort to do the things that we need to do for him. It is our natural life too. But you have to make effort. It takes effort to to um, mm. to plan stuff. It takes effort even to go in and fix you something. Neat. It takes effort sometimes to put your clothes on. It takes effort. And um, even starting, you know, working out or doing things like that, if you hadn't done it in a while, your effort might be small, but you're doing it. It takes an effort to do things. Even it takes um, effort to even to serve serve the Lord too. Because sometimes we, we get a little mm. a little compl complacent, and a little lazy, and then, you know. Plus, we at home and we doing church online. Oh, I don't need to go to the church. Oh, I don't need to go here. I don't need to go there. Well, when when things are back to well, probably won't ever be back to normal. But when mm. things start rolling again, it's gonna take some effort. No, no, no. We 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 did that what for a few weeks. Yes. It took some effort, <laughs> so we had to remember how to have church again. Like, oh my goodness! So it's it's gonna take us all working together collectively mm. in effort to to build up the body of Christ. So think of the word effort. Mm -hmm. How much effort are we really putting in here? How much effort? Like the football players and the basketball players, they don't just get off the couch and just go. Mm -hmm. They it takes effort. To get hit like that, it takes effort to bounce to dribble the ball. Even the referees. <laughs> when I'm watching the basketball game, I'm not trying to be long winded, but when I'm watching the basketball games, I focus on the referees. They run it just as much as um, the players do. Mm -hmm. It takes effort for them so they can watch and make sure there are no mistakes. And so we have the umpire, the Holy Spirit, well. working with us. Mm -hmm. To help us to get the effort, he said to willing to, didn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, so mm -hmm. it takes it takes him effort too to help us to have the effort we need. So mm -hmm. I don't know if I was in your sermon, I probably was. I don't know, mm -hmm. a it's little short. bit. It's gonna show up today. So Amen. yeah, think about the effort that we're getting. My Lord. So I thank God for the First Lady and her words of affirmation after we've done the, the vision, mission, and affirmation statement. It's gonna take all of us together. Shadydale, the Facebook church hoppers, the kingdom, everyone. And so we'll talk a little bit more about that later. And so. then, <laughs> and the one on a serious note, pray for the uh, people in, of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And I know we've all seen the news and heard the news, mm -hmm. even on Facebook, social media. Pray for them. Mm -hmm. We're not going through that, but we probably know people that are from those countries. Even pray for the, 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 the people in Russia too. Yes. So um, just pray for them. Just to whisper a prayer mm. in your quiet time while you're walking around your house. Your prayers can reach prayer. There's no distance in prayer. I was mm. taught that there is no distance in prayer. And so pray for them. We watched some images on the news mm. and families are being separated, saying goodbyes. It it, it, it is. Uh, it, it does mess with your heart and it is heart wrenching. So mm -hmm. um, let's pray. Can we do it now? Mm -hmm. Pray sure. for um, the, the families. So Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your holy name. We come to you on behalf of the world today, particularly in Russia and Ukraine. You said in your word that the earth is the Lord's, the fullness there are, the world and they that dwell therein. We pray that you have mercy on the world today, that you bring the war to an end in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that you make wars to cease. Yes. And we pray today, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would work this out, work out the differences, O oh God, and bring this conflict to an end. I pray that you would spare our lives and spare the world, O oh God, and spare families, O oh God, that in the name of Jesus, you would rule and super rule.